Hey guys, Tony Bellotta from the Barber and Caldwell, and you're watching Cigar Noise Weekly. Thanks, Tony, and welcome back. I'm Dave, your host, and this is Cigar Noise Weekly on a Tuesday night, which will be our new night for the next several weeks. This evening, Dom checks out Tinder just for you. Sean gives us advice on how to avoid public smoking loss, and Ted hits us with a cigar of the week. So fire up your favorite La Barba and pour yourself a tall glass of whatever the hell makes you want to put your own face on a cigar band. It's time to make some noise. Actually, no. We're gonna cut that section this week and skip right to Dom, who swipes right for your viewing pleasure. So if you get on Cigar Noise and look at the reviews, there's an option at the very bottom for you, yes you, to give your own review of that cigar. Now I've never done this, but Dave assures me it's as easy as it is for me to talk to women. So let's pick up women on Tinder and review a cigar. I'm gonna be reviewing the CG4 White Horse by Luzione. Uh, the original review was done by Chris McCookook Chew. Come on, come on. I'm all lit up, so let's check out Tinder. Now for my profile, I only use pictures uh, where I also had a cigar. And my bio is, I like cigars, chickens, and rock and roll. Kept it short and sweet. Let's get swiping. Nope. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, hello. Oh man, that kills it. She has like a, a onesie with a giant cat face on it. Okay, back to the cigar. I'm getting a lot of good wood notes and maybe a touch of anise. I'm gonna write that in the review. This one chica has a picture of a cat next to a pineapple. So far, the burn line's looking really nice. Uh, the draw is a little bit too snug. I can give that a rating right now. It's out of 10. A solid... 8.5. Kind of starting to get a little uh, barbecue taste. Not like barbecue sauce, but like if you barbecued a cigar. That's stupid. Oh man, there's a bird. It was a really big bird. Dang it. Out of swipes. So there's a faint sweetness coming in now. Subtle rose sweetness. I'm gonna write that down. It's my review, I can do what I want. And you can do whatever you want on your review. I'm starting to sweat. I can't tell if it's the strength of the cigar or the temperature outside. It's supposed to be 106 today. So I'm trying to get this out of the way a little bit earlier in the day. Wow, I just rhymed a bunch of words together. That was stupid. All right, got more swipes. Oh, a lot of these girls have their age as being like 25, and then in the bio it says actually 17. But not today, Joe Bait. Not today. Ooh, cutesy scores. So I have a third left about, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and rate the burn right now. I've had zero touch ups. It's not perfect, perfect, but I'm gonna give it a 9.5. All right, so the strength is picking up now. Uh, I checked Chris's review and he said it was a full bodied, full strength, and it's starting to feel full strength. And finally, enjoyment. I uh, enjoyed the first two thirds a lot. The last third, the flavors didn't get too harsh, but the strength really ramped up. So I'm gonna give it an 8.9. Well, I ended up with 10 matches total. I guess that's not too shabby. And just like that, my review's posted. So if you haven't done a review yourself, highly recommend it. Tinder, on the other hand, I don't recommend. Rock and roll. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Dom. And be sure to follow him on Instagram at cigar underscore analogies or his YouTube channel linked in the description. Next up, Sean shows us how to get around public smoking laws and sentiment in the Great White North. All right, what's up, Noise Nation? Uh, big boy running here, uh, smoking in the non-smoking section. Uh, and uh, here's my, my brother, Jeff. And... Oh. Uh, and uh, we were just sitting here, you know, having having a couple of cigars. 
and anyone anyone that walks by and gives us a dirty look, uh, Jeff's quick with. Uh, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Congratulations. Yeah, and we're pointing at a girl across the fountain. Um, so we're not lying. Uh, they're stretching. There is a girl. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, just tips for uh, tips for smoking in Toronto from uh, from Jeff and uh, and Big Boy Running. Peace. Sean, ladies and gentlemen, check him out at Run to Smoke on Instagram to keep up with his shenanigans. And without further ado, Ted is here with your cigar of the week. Cigar of the week this week is this fine cigar right here, the Caldwell Anastasia. Uh, this is actually a collaboration cigar between Robert Caldwell and E.P. Carrillo. And I've smoked several of these. It's, uh, this is a fine cigar. It's very, very good. Uh, I, if, if you've smoked one, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, I really enjoy this cigar. Smoked a couple different sizes of it too, and all of them are good. And in my research, one of the things I found out about Anastasia being one of the daughters of the last Russian czars is that for whatever reason, the family said that they wish she would have been a boy. Now listen, I, I know that that's not a real picture of her. I get it, but still, she looks a little, she looks a little mad maybe, but when we're not going to hold that against her. I know for a fact I wouldn't want my boy to look like that. I don't know why they would want their boy to look like that. Wishing she was a boy. She was a fine looking daughter. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. But also another thing that came up in my research this week, uh, and I gotta get off on a tangent here for a minute. I'm sorry, but I started thinking about this cigar of the week and the fact that Anastasia was Russian, and I started thinking about the traveling I'm doing and getting through TSA. And I saw these signs in TSA this week that said TSA pre-checked. Spend less time waiting and more time doing what you love. And so I guess it's a program where you can pay TSA money and get through the line faster, which to me just seems like simple bribery. But anyway, I started thinking about their advertisement and I said, I must be standing in the wrong TSA lines for all these years, because if there's a TSA line where when I get through it, what I love is on the other side, then I need to stand in that line. Right now, every TSA line I've ever been through, here's what's waiting for me on the other side. A worn out airport chair that 8,000 people sat in yesterday and the wonderful view of me watching the elite club and presidential gold diamond club members get on the airplane before I do I don't love that if there's a place where I can catch a drink and I could smoke a cigar that's what I love if that's waiting for me on the side of that TSA line then I'm gonna pay the money and do it I'm not paying money to go sit in a chair faster and watch a bunch of people get on an airplane before I do. That's ridiculous. Anyway, sorry. A little soapbox tangent there, but it just seemed ridiculous to me. Caldwell Anastasia. Here's some of the things you can expect to enjoy. You smoke one of these things. You can expect to enjoy flavors of cedar, dried fruit and honey, Baked bread, black pepper, nutmeg, cashew, and raisins. And I happen to know that right towards the end of this cigar, there's a fantastic hint of mint that is really, really good. You're going to enjoy that part. So if you can find yourself one of these, I'll suggest you light it up. Get on Cigar Noise and put a community review on there. Tell us what you thought of it. Maybe you don't like it. I don't know. It may not be for everybody, but I think you're going to like it. So get on there and tell us what you think. So I'll tell you one thing that is going to be waiting for me that I love when I get home and of course my wonderful wife, but I'm going to get home and I'm going to spend more time doing what I love and it's going to be smoking a cigar. I'd like to light it up right now and maybe there's a spot that TSA hasn't told me about that's waiting for me out there. If I find it, I might light it up today, but when I get home, I'm definitely going to enjoy this cigar. You should too. Cigar of the week is Ted. Have yourself a good weekend. Thanks, Ted. Look for his reviews on CigarNoise.com or check him out on Instagram at Ted Runs Again. And if you still got any money left after the Black Honey pre-order, we have the baddest deal you're going to see all week. Look for the link in the description to find the limited edition size Las Calaveras 2017, LFD's Andalusian Bull, AJ's Bayas Artes, Sacrifolium's Laws of Signs, and La Polina's Illumination, as well as that Cigar Noise patch. And don't forget to use our code CigarNoise for 10% off and always free shipping. As we close with our social media cigar noise hashtags of the week, 
I'd like to say thank you very much to all of our special guests, everyone that makes this show happen each week, and Tom Thurow for sharing his musical talent with us. <laughs>